14, 15, 16, and they ice you. Come on, we all got ice before. Yeah. Come on. Who some of them hood legends? Or they might not be hood. They might have played in the league. They might have, you know, one D one college played overseas. Yeah. So when I used to go play at this little spot called Bury Farms. It was outdoor league, and it was this defender. He was from around the way. He was. I mean, he, was, he looked like he looked like you know he he drinking right before the game and right afterwards. Like oh man, but he energetic, play hard as defense. Called him Mick Hype, but he was just a. That's who they they sick every they sick him on every score in the league. <laughs> Mick so, Hype, Mick so, Hype, Mick so, Hype. So he go out there and he, he drink a forty. Yes, a, ICF like Gil. Yes. Ice high cold top 40. Air Force Ones on. High top Air Force color. Black joints. Oh, he was a beast. He was a legend. He was he was he had the black. High, listen, he the joints I just had. What the, you know how Rasheed Wallace used to wear the strap on the back of the Hang joints? It, that yeah. yeah, them joints. Ooh, he Come was on, a let's beast. tell us about Big Hype. So he was, I mean, I'm I'm 15, 16, I'm like 6'9, skinny as shit. I'm coming down shooting from deep. Mick, get KD, get KD. <laughs> you know they betting on the game. You know, yeah, yeah they going you know in the hood. They done bet four thousand. You know, yeah, come, it's, 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 like, it's liable going on. to be some yeah. shots going the fuck I'm off. At the end of the yeah. <laughs> we in the finals, it's like three game series. We played a three game series. Yeah. And they like, yo, Mick Hype. You got KD. Was he a grown man or was he a kid too? He probably was like 15 years older than me at that point. <laughs> Damn. Mick Hype was a no joke. Go ahead. He's a <laughs> legend. Go ahead. They, they, hear this. They, they, He's a playground legend. That boy was a legend. Mick Hype he drank a, a pint of He's a hood legend. He said not a playground. In a, in a ice cold 40, it get a lock it's shit a black, down. It's a black Air Force ones. On like one. Dennis Rodman. Ain't got a cooler than motherfuckers in the back, in the back of his trunk. Like <laughs> he's, he's serious. Legend. <laughs> So what happened? Go ahead. He just he he just he just like flat out harassed me the, the whole game, like elbow in the chest, walking me up the court, and like and it wasn't no like touch fouls or nothing back then. No. But he 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 kind of instilled like, damn, if I can get this little nigga up off me, then. I'd be all right because right. I ain't gonna foul this much, you know, right. where I'm trying to go. Right. You know so what I'm Mick saying? So Mick Hype helped you. Definitely. Yeah. And playing outdoors in that environment helped me. Right. Playing if because you had to be. Because if you was if you had any, one thing about going out, 16 for Susquehanna, going to the Rucker, going to whatever they called it out in PG County yeah. in DC, going to any of these park playgrounds where it's a thousand motherfuckers out here. Tell me. If you got any bitch in you. You done. You done. They, they, you, you could just see it. Oh, he not cut for this shit. Because once a person come down and wop, 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 and lay you up or step back or do a floater and that crowd go crazy, it's only one thing for you to do. Come on. Let me see that. Oh, wop, 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 and you got to get yours back. You got to get busy. They you got to get back. And if you don't want yours back, then... You don't belong out there. You don't belong out there. One thing, one thing about uh, first of all, shout out to Nick Hype. Who was the Nick Hype? That one player in the NBA through your whole journey that wasn't no debt. That was Tony Allen. Damn, that's a the good same one. exact person, but in NBA form. Like, so Tony Allen was Mick Hype without the forties. He probably was one. Of the <laughs> Oh, yeah, he probably had the one. <laughs> anybody play, anybody play, play like that? Like play Nick defense, play that good. They drinking forties in the locker room. Got yeah. to, yeah. And he just was a problem, huh? And he made he he had me he had me thinking about my offense differently. You know what I'm saying? Like right. when you start, my game was always free flowing. So I'm just going. I'm out there just playing. The ball come to me, I'm shoot it. I, mean, I get the lane, I'm go. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He was cutting shit off, <laughs> denying the ball from me, getting it to my pocket. So I'm just like, all right, I need to just find different setups. And so I started working on, you know, <coughs> preparation before I catch the ball. Just a little small parts of the game and shit. He was helping me. It felt like he was teaching me that little shit right. as I was playing against him because he was so fucking good. I never seen somebody as such a. Uh, he was a master at playing defense. Like you don't understand how great Tony Allen was at playing defense. Okay, so. Draymond Green just said he was the best defensive player of all time. Exactly. You played against him in practice that, yeah. a thousand times. Was Draymond Green better than Tony See, Allen? See, it's different. It's different. No, 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 it's no, no. Different. No, no. It's come different. On, come yo. on, Kev. It's different. Come on, Kev. Because great Draymond Green was Draymond Green not asked the guard, the point guards, two guards, 
and three man all game. Tony Allen like a shutdown corner. We like, all right, you just gonna follow him all game. Mm-hmm. Draymond not doing that. Draymond more like a safety. He gonna just cover up everything. Mm-hmm. That's different. It you know different, that's different. It is different, but but yeah. but but it's all like who you prefer. Who would you prefer? I want Draymond Green because he's bigger. <laughs> <laughs> He's but Tony it. Allen is it's not an easy decision. Tony Allen, you could put him on. And Draymond Green on offense a little is better than Tony Allen on offense. So it's we like, talk about offense. But we just talk I'm about defense, talking about yeah. if I went on my team though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah. Tony Allen is a flat out he's a, he he just a no, he, he just, was a defensive He a lockdown defender. Absolutely. Who talked the most trash in the league? Who talked the most shit? Who talked the most shit? Like I'm talking about no, be real. Or, 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 or it could have been since you've been in the league, they might not be in the league no more. KG talked the most shit by far. By far. By far. And all his little homies did too. Perk, Rondo, Paul Pierce. Like, well, KG, what are he going to say to you? What, what crazy shit would he say to somebody? Like, pussy ass nigga, stop talking to me, nigga. You can't talk to me. Like, shit like that. Ooh, okay. And you ain't, you ain't even say nothing. Who, me? No, I'm saying it. I'm talking about. I'm all, oh, like, oh, KG yeah, yeah, yeah. K, 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 KG yeah, yeah, yeah. say that shit, nigga. Didn't yeah, even nigga say ain't that. Say nothing. Like, what the fuck is you talking? Y'all niggas some. Yeah, come up. Y'all niggas some. Like they'll get a they'll get a foul. Somebody Paul Pierce will get a foul. Get to the line. Y'all niggas some studio gangsters, bitch ass nigga. Like he'll be on type that type of shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No joke. And they just like and he just he with it. And I'm just and all his, all the all like his teammates with it too. And it like it's not like on no like we trying to fight. If you if you really in your feelings, you are gonna want to fight these it, niggas. And then they got you out your game. It yeah. get you out your game. But right. if you like nigga, we because they respect hoopers. Right. And that's one thing when we played against them when we was young, they would start that shit. Our first year, second, third year, they like all right, we gonna hoop today. They you they chose who they chose who they talk that shit to. Right. But if you hoop with them. Physical with them And you play in a game with them You ain't back down They, ain't, they just gonna hoop But no, KG heard, set heard the heard tone I KG say some crazy shit To LeBron too Yeah I done seen that Just reading his lips on TV Yeah Bitch ass nigga <laughs> Just yeah, like KG. Like go <laughs> yeah, He don't get no tech for that The whole arena heard that shit yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you like, now, now If I'm a young player I look at you You're going down in the books and I just came in the league, and I just came in the league, and I'm watching this interview. What game can you give a young player about the about all the temptations that come when you first come in the league and you get that checks, the friends, the family, money, the women? What type of game would you sit there and give somebody that's, that's your young team, you know, your young teammate, or just a young cat now that got in the league, they got – Everything coming or on his way to the league, or on his way to the league, and he he's getting drafted or, this or or this on year. his way to any type of thing that's successful. Yeah, it could get you caught up, and you know what I'm saying. It ain't necessarily got to be the NBA. It could be the it could be rapping. It could be the, the NFL. It could like be, when that money first hits your account mm-hmm. and life change. Like mm-hmm. what type of information? Because it's could you get him to you know put some protection on himself? See, I don't really be giving. Advice like that because I don't really know how these people come up. Yeah, I don't know their situation. I don't know what they aunts and uncles need and they. Grand- yeah. I don't know what they got. What's the depths of their relationships with their people? Mm-hmm. I just try to tell dudes to focus on the main thing. We hooping, all that shit off the court. What you got in your in your household? You gonna vi- out, your family gonna figure that out. Y'all gonna have to figure that out. But if you focus on the main thing, you focus on you. You focus on being the best you can when you come in here every day. You gonna start to figure that stuff out on your own. You know what I'm saying? So it's like hard for me to give yeah, I real I like that though. advice like that when I don't know the depths of what's going on. You know what I'm saying? And and so I try to tell dudes, man, if you could just in your mind have peace when you come into this gym, peace at like, yo, I'm playing a sport that I loved as a kid that I enjoy. If you keep it at that when you come into this gym, like the stuff gonna start to get more clear off the court as well. You know what I'm saying? Because you have Absolutely. peace when you come in here. You know what I mean? That's the true key to all of this shit. Peace of mind. You meditate? Um, yeah, for, yeah. I mean, I'm not I'm not sitting down in the room with the yeah. lights turned off, but you know Indian what I'm style like Uncle yeah, Russ. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but I'm thinking about it. I mean, I feel like I'm. <laughs> <laughs> he just caught that. He just caught. He, said, he caught. Like Russ. <laughs> 